Maryland Comptroller Peter Francho toured the Kennard High School African American Cultural Heritage Center with Kennard Alumni Association President Clayton Washington. Tuesday, good afternoon, folks. Yeah, thank you all for coming. We're proud of the work that's been done here to create this new building. Out of what was old and what was unused is now new and usable again. The mission of the Kennard Alumni Association is to provide a learning resource that models the history and culture of the African American community in Queen Anne's County. This learning resource will offer programs in education and cultural arts to all youth and adults of this and neighboring counties. And we want to thank Controller Friendship for coming because the state and the county, we have three commissioners here, were instrumental in getting this to happen. Two-thirds of the funding for the renovation project was provided by the county commissioners and the state board of public works. And we, and we raised the other third. I just wanted to say how delighted I am to be here, uh, Clayton, and I really think you represent, obviously, the spirit of Lucretia Kennard. Uh, she made a difference in her life, and I think you represent the very best of her uh, values and principles, so I'd like to give you one of my much-coveted Comptroller medallions. Thank you. I give those to Restored High School and Museum provides a window into the rich history and heritage of African-American culture on Maryland's eastern shore. The museum has replicated the school's original science classroom, which will be a permanent exhibit with text panels, recorded audio, video histories, and artifacts donated by former students, staff, and community. Our board is made up of past graduates of Kennard or teachers that taught at Kennard. Paulette Jones, Brenda Dye, Melvin Shore, Madeline Hollis, Alice Hutchins, and Mr. Charles Miller. We are grateful that you, you know, took the took the job on. This is a a feather in the cap of Queen Anne's County, and and to you and your board for what you've done here, because this is something that uh, I think that, that the county and the state now has as a resource. Thank you for all your dedication here. I remember when we first talked and I got elected about funding this, and uh, it was a no-brainer from the commissioner's point of view. Obviously, history to us and all Americans should be important, not just the state of Maryland, but. Absolutely. We've been able to pull resources from outside of the Alumni Association. People that have an interest in, in this county and just resources. And they've become just great boons to what we're doing. And they're dedicated to it. After touring the Kennard School, the Comptroller met Scott McGlashan, Clerk of the Court, at the 1794 Historic Courthouse in Centerville. And they walked across the square to the new courthouse project location. Local officials were in attendance, along with the engineers, architects, and project managers from the Department of Public Works. They took a quick tour of the new 42,000 square foot circuit courthouse currently under construction. The new building will replace the existing 220 year old historic courthouse and is slated to open in 2018. His final stop for the day in Queen Anne's County was to visit the Department of Emergency Services to recognize them for all the important services they provide to the county citizens. I would like to present to you and to the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services in the state of Maryland in recognition of your unwavering commitment to providing unparalleled service to the citizens of Queen Anne's County, special appreciation for your heroic efforts in assisting residents and businesses during and after the EFT-2 tornado that touched down on Kent Island in July 2017, and with heartfelt gratitude for your invaluable contributions to the surrounding communities, many thanks and best wishes for continued success and growth in the years ahead. Presented this 11th of September. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Just so you know, on our yeah. side, Mr. Yes. Rivet here has been the one who spearheaded most of the efforts through the community has done an excellent job doing so. Well, come on up here. I'm going to give you one of my much coveted controller medallions. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you. So this is an official Department of Emergency Service well, thank you. that we want you to have. Oh, I'm honored to have that. Thank you. It's beautiful. Also. Thank you very much, Scott.